Hey everyone, I'm here today with a comparing video, this time between two mini Harry Potter books. So this will be a comparison video. Now, these two, I actually got them both in upstate New York because I took a vacation up there. And they had a gift shop there and they had a section filled with Harry Potter stuff. And I knew I could not pass this up because um, I myself am a Harry Potter fan. And that's actually not the only stuff I bought. I bought some more stuff, which I will show off in a video, which I will show off in other videos, either either comparing them or just reviewing them. But anyways, so let's get the comparing. So these two are the exact same length right off the bat. Um, these two both say the art of Harry Potter, but the difference is this one says mini book of magical places. This one's the mini book of graphic designs, like. So this book shows um, all of the uh, the uh, famous places where um, the movie was filmed, and this was, and they were shown in both the movies and the books. And then this shows the artwork shown in the movies and the books. Some of them made some of them made it in the film. Some of them didn't. They're only shown in the book. But um, and you can tell by that because you can see some writings there, like "Have you seen this wizard?" And undesirable number one because there were frequent articles about famous uh, people happening. So yeah, and the front of this just shows Harry in like a room. Uh, it's it's in Dumbledore's office, to my knowledge. I don't know. And then the back shows the uh, just the description, and then the uh, pages are the same. Like they both have. Uh, let me think. How many pages do they have? Let me see. About 303 in this one, and then this one is filled with, uh, let me see, about 302 pages. Okay, so, and I actually got, and as you can see, I actually got these two for 11.99, so that was pretty cheap. And then I'll show the pages off. I won't go into full details just because I don't want to make this video too long, so... I'm only going to show just the pages, and I will show, like, the famous stuff. Like, my favorite stuff to me. Like, the famous ones. Like, this one is the undesirable number one. That was when Harry was shown. Uh, when he made it in the paper about the boy who lied. Written by Rita Skeeter. One of the most annoying characters in Harry Potter to me. I'm not going to lie. She's actually one of my least favorite characters, because... Ah, uh, she's just really annoying. She's very dishonest. Um, let me think. Is she the most, the most least favorite character I have? Okay, uh, yeah, she's definitely by far my least favorite character along with, um, wait, no one else. Like, she's my least favorite character. She's just completely dishonest, to be honest with you. And then other characters that people hate, I actually find them completely funny. Like the Dursleys, um... Draco Malfoy, Crab and Goyle, as well as most of the Slytherins, and, uh, uh, who else? And Voldemort, yes. There's plenty of people that, that I find funny, but... Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna scroll through these pages, just kind of skimmer through, like, skip them, just so you can kind of see what they... the basis of what they look like. That's Defense Against the Dark Arts. I won't go into full details like I said earlier in the video. And then, um, that's a, that's a poster of England against Ireland for the Quidditch World Cup. And then, uh, let me see. The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. And that's a picture of Rita Skeeter, the one character I hate, I'm not going to lie. That's the biting book. Which is actually pretty funny to me. <laughs> yeah, you can say Rita Skeeter's kind of one of the characters some people hate. Draco Malfoy some people hate because obviously he's just a mean character. And then there's two other characters that some people hate but I find them funny which are his parents, Narcissa and Lucius Malfoy. Undesirable number one. That is that is the wanted poster of Harry Potter when um, he went to hunt for Voldemort's Horcruxes. And then there's an article called Dark Mark, or He Who Must Not Be Named Returns, which that was when Voldemort um, returned as Harry claimed to be, which is true. And then um, He Who, uh, that's the article, Dark Mark Sparks Panic, which is, um, 
it was a dark mark cast in the sky um, to scare off the, the Death Eaters. This one's the boy who lies. Like Harry lies about, like people claim Harry about lies about Voldemort, most notably Cornelius Fudge. Dumbledore Dafter Dangerous when he escaped going to Azkaban. Mass breakout from Azkaban, like when there was a breakout of prisoners, most notably Sirius Black and Bellatrix Lestrange. And I think Lucius Malfoy also escaped. Dumbledore's Dark Secrets reveal, and then uh, new headmaster for Hogwarts, and then just wanted, Fainter Greyback, Belcher Strains, blah, blah, blah. Those are all the pages. I'm just going to skimmer through and only talk about the ones that are important. And then this is actually the sign-in sheet for Dumbledore's army of all the people who signed up for it. Because Harry forms the group to teach Defense Against the Dark Arts because, um... In the movie, the fifth movie, Dolores Umbridge teaches Defense Against Dark Arts. And let me tell you, she's another character I hate along with um, Gilderoy Lockhart. Those are all the characters I hate because they're just like very annoying. They're like the most annoying characters to me in the whole franchise. Thankfully though, we only got to see Gilderoy Lockhart in like one movie, which was in the second movie. And then Dolores Umbridge is in the fifth and the seventh movie. That's when we actually see them. And I believe she's in the sixth movie. I could be wrong. I don't know. I only saw her in the fifth and seventh. So that's all I know. That's all the movies I know she is in. And then this is the book on um, the magical places, which I will talk about which ones are in there. There's. I'll just skim her through the pages. Like, I won't go into full details. Like, I'll just briefly show you this. And that's it. And then the 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 magical places in that book are like um the Muggle World, King's Cross, or Hogwarts King's Cross Station. Then we got Weezy Wizard Wheezes, uh Hogwarts itself, and then Hogsmeade, as well as um I'm trying to think what else is there. And then there's Godric Hallows, the place Harry lived as a baby. The Privet Drives where Harry lived as a uh with the Dursleys, and then you got the Lovegood home, which is where Luna Lovegood and her father lived. Uh, the Burrow, which is where all of the Weasleys lived. That's another famous place. Malfoy Manor, where the Malfoys lived. As well as Bellatrix, when she broke out of Azkaban. Because she's actually their Draco's aunt. And then, um, I'm trying to think of what else there is. And then other famous places are, let's see. I'm trying to think. Pretty much every place at Hogwarts is famous. I won't go into detail since I already explained about Hogwarts and you kind of know what the places are. And uh, I'm trying to think what else to say. And then there's also other famous places are um, Grimwall Place, which is the Order's headquarters. And then the graveyard where Cedric Diggory died. And then the Quidditch World Cup. And uh, Azkaban. And that's all of the famous places I can remember. Let me know in the comments if there's any other places, famous places you know of, because that's all I know off the top of my head. Let me know in the comments if there's any other places you know of, because um, I just don't remember all of them off the top of my head. But anyways, I will end my video here. Thank you for watching. Bye.